created and sold here in the city century for centuries. I would not like to see their hard drives, that's all I'm saying. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. He will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone with any sort of biblical understanding or understanding of the spiritual world knows they are referring to Lucifer, ladies and gentlemen. This is worship of fallen angels going on right in front of your face. You might not believe in the devil, but trust me, they do it at the BBC. Okay? This is basically a trailer for him coming into the world. People that don't think we're living near the end times, have you seen what I'm seeing? Bro, this Andrew guy is trying to convince you that a giant red satanic bull bleeding from the eyes is a symbol of love. Or like, on a, on, on a level. This guy is tapped, bro. The now free and at peace rule of Birmingham really is the symbol for this Commonwealth Games. Well, yeah, the at free satanic bulls is absolutely the symbol of Commonwealth Games, Andrew. Yeah, you absolutely nailed it. Yeah, yeah, you're not reading from the script. No, no, you're just, you're just shooting from the hip. Sure. He will, by the way, have a permanent place in the centre of Birmingham when these games end. And he will become the symbol of this theatrical and inspiring open ceremony at these games. You notice how they're referring to this bull as he? They're referring to this beast as an entity in its own. Like he will become the symbol that we will fall down and worship these people, man. And it's all as an angel of light. Satan will come and reveal himself to you as an angel of light. Look at this. This bull was clearly satanic. It even bled from the eyes. And now they're like, oh, it's light and peace and love and fall down and worship the bull. ...about whether this is a ritual or not. So I did a quick voiceover to it to share some insight into what I think is going on. Due to so many people asking me to check out the footage of the Commonwealth Games opening ceremony, due to there being a lot of speculation around subliminal messaging, pointing towards the Tower of Babel. Here we go. Clearly, this is a ritual of some kind. As you can see, the tower is very clear. It's not even hidden. But take a look at what is coming up. The one eye symbolism and the gates of darkness opening. Also, you will see that the face is divided and confused. When you pay attention to the gates, there are one eyes popping up and there are a lot of demonic symbols flashing up on those screens. But the creepy part is the audience is all dressed in black and they are praising something. Now it moves on to this bull. And the bull 
is surrounded by people holding lights and fire and the bull's eyes are red but pay attention to what is about to happen because it is extremely extremely disturbing so everybody is bowing down to the image of the bull which is what a beast and all of a sudden its eyes have lit up and it has come to life the image has been given life the image of the beast and everybody is bowing to it and worshiping the image of the now beast. if you pay close attention you will see that there are two people two so-called angels hovering above the head of the image of the beast and they take something off of his head and fly upwards now as i mentioned earlier i think the most disturbing thing about this entire footage this entire ritual is the people who are surrounding the image of the beast that has been given life dressed as pagans doing eastern mystic kind of body language and worshiping the image of the beast and if it isn't obvious that they are worshiping it look what they're about to do there it is they are bowing to the image of the beast and as they do so smoke comes out of the nostrils of the beast if you look at those who are surrounding the image of the beast i believe those are the ones who are serving the beast 